Hey citizens, today we're taking out the Drake Caterpillar. First introduced in 2871, Drake Interplanetary's Caterpillar has long proven to be a reliable, cost-effective, multi-role vessel, capable of being outfitted for everything from mercantile operations to combat support. Long hailed as a hard-fought alternative to the ubiquitous hull series, the Caterpillar is a freighter that doesn't skimp on weaponry or customization, and the loadout we're using today is no exception. Let's cover some basics. Amenities include a mess hall, habitation quarters, and multiple gun racks scattered throughout the ship. When it comes to function, the cat has it all. Two tractor beams, which are currently not functional, two main turrets with dual size 4 weapon hardpoints on the cargo section, dual size 3 hardpoints on a turret, plus two more size 3 hardpoints, all attached to the pilot control craft. The control craft is detachable, but that function is also currently not available. On top of all that, the CAT carries 576 SCU of cargo. For components, the CAT has one size 3 shield generator, two size 3 power plants, two size 3 coolers, and one size 3 quantum drive. Now let's get to our loadout for today's combat session. For weapons, the front upper turret will hold two size 4 salvation distortion scatter guns. The lower rear turret will hold two size 4 revenant ballistic gatling guns. The control module will be equipped with four GT220 ballistic gatling guns. For components, one FR-86 shield generator, two JS-500 power plants, two Blizzard coolers, and one TS-2 quantum drive, all grade A military spec components. This loadout has proven very effective against pirate attacks or interdictions from multiple aggressors. A combination of good evasion tactics coupled with a decent crew should yield more cargo making it support. Teamwork is the key. Now let's get out there and see what the cat can do.
In closing, the cat is slow moving but has decent maneuverability for its size. It's well armed, has plenty of amenities, and I believe with a seasoned crew, this ship can be operated to devastating effect. With Battle Pillar loadout equipped, I grade this ship as combat effective. That's it for this session. I'll see you next time, citizens. Stay frosty, and I'll see you in the verse.